there you have it. That's a snippet from the video which emerged, recorded by the outcome or the impeached deputy governor of Edo State Comrade Philip Shoabu. Well, just as that was happening in the House of Assembly, uh, an event, uh, a ceremony to, for the inauguration of the new deputy governor was going on at the government house just on the other side uh, of the streets there, uh, where Mr. Omobayo Godwins was being prepped to becoming the deputy to Governor Godwin Obaseki. And so the 38 year old engineer was eventually sworn in as a deputy governor. Let me allow you to listen to some of uh, the natural sound from that event. To the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And that I will preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I do solemnly swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that as the Deputy Governor of Edo State, I will discharge my duties to the best of my ability, faithfully and in accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and the law. All right then, there you have it. You heard the swearing in and the die is cast. Philip Shaibu gone. Amobayo Godwins is now the deputy governor of Edo State. He will be deputizing uh, alongside with uh, Governor Godwin Obaseki. Deputy governor of Edo State, Mr. Go uh, Godwins, joins us live uh, virtually from Benin City. Thank you so much and congratulations to you, Mr. Deputy Governor. Thank you, so. I don't know if uh, my so. records are right. Uh, if you, you, you will probably be the youngest deputy so. governor in the history of Edo State. Am I right? Probably. Yeah. How does it come to you? How does it feel to now become a deputy governor? Now become a Now become a Now become a Now become a I don't know if you, if you can, can you, can you, can you hear me? All right. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. So my question is, how does it feel to become a deputy governor? Uh, it's a plus for democracy, sir, and it has actually induced the confidence of the youth. If you see Benin today, you see a do not, you see a do central, the whole place is agog with celebrations. Youth are very happy that a, a, a 37 year old, 37 plus, on the 38th in July 19, and it is a big news for them, and it's going to raise their confidence to participate actively in politics. Yeah, they probably will think that also that Philip Shabby is one of them. Is uh, is also some people would regard him as all. I mean, as a youth also. So is he a removal of one youth for another youth? <laughs> when when you look at the age margin. That we, I, I, I don't like to talk about, uh, I don't want to talk about Philip Shaibu. Uh, I, I prefer to talk about myself and what this, uh, what this means to me and the people of Akoko Edo in particular and the people of Edo State in general. So yeah, what does it mean to you, becoming a deputy governor? Is it a lifelong dream for you? Uh, if you look at my address to my acceptance speech, I tagged it an act of God. And of course, I, I ran for House of Rep in 2023, where I clearly won, and the political buccaneers they took it away. So that's so why I said there's a hand of God in it. I wasn't even expecting this. I was expecting to be contest in 2027, only for me to be a brand new deputy governor. So I give that to Almighty God. So it's an act of God, and I'm happy about it and promise to maximize it to the fullest potential so that I will be a model for other youth in those states, and uh, in particular Nigeria in general. Yeah, a few months ago, you were donning the, uh, the, the hats, the clothing,
the colors of the Labour Party. Today, you are a deputy governor in the PDP government. Does that sound right, though? Well, but I have a model. I have a style of politicking. It is called the Omar Bias model. And if you retrace it back to 2023, I had one of the best campaigns in Nigeria where I took uh, APC and PDP by storm. It was a traditional way of, uh, of a campaign. It was uh, devoid of uh, political affiliation. The people, there was nothing like labor in Akoko Edo, for instance, but I took the campaign to their homes. I visited almost every home in the 43 communities in Akoko Edo because I went to them to say, please vote for me. It's different from somebody thinking that there's a structure, whether you're in PDP or APC. So my style was totally different. The people that voted for me, they are not Labour Party carrying members because the local government is traditionally APC and PDP. And I got a very good result, which eventually went to the tribunal, but we couldn't get any result. So I have adopted that one. I just like good governance and I like, I'm, I'm a young politician. I should look at the opportunities here. And the labor of last year when you had Peter Obi is not labor today. So, uh, and when you look at the candidates, when you look at them side by side, the PDP, APC, and the labor, when you look at uh, Barista Aswe Godalu, you know, you look at uh, the political technicality of uh, Barista Sarodio Oge, who has been on ground for over two decades, and you want to pitch your tent as a young man who wants to excel politically, I think it's a, it's a good option. Uh, not, I, I don't regret it at all. Uh, you also don't regret, perhaps, that you're going to be a deputy governor for just a few months, isn't it? So, Akoko Edo, I come from Akoko Edo Federal Constituency. I consulted very widely, and the uh, uh, popular opinion suggested that I take that appointment. Even if it's for 30 seconds, the people of Akoko Edo are very grateful, sir. So, so, to me, it's like six years, and it is not the number of months or the number of years. It is the number of impact. I just want to finish strong or strongly with the uh, governor because I have followed his uh, plan as an engineer. I had cost to look at one or two. I was involved in this, uh, what you call the Bini master plan. We are, we just, we are doing a donut and a do central now. And uh, I think it's, it's, it's good. It's, it's one of the best administratively. And I, and I like his style of administration. So I will do my best within the ambit of what I have. I cannot give what I don't have. But what I have is and by, by, by the reason of being a youth now, looking at that age, is a plus for me because the youth are everywhere. They are happy. If you look at, you, you can see the crowd there. It's massive. I, I couldn't, it took me time. It took the intervention of police and DSS for me to be able to get into my car. So there's so much excite, excitement and uh, I'm happy about it. But what I'm interested in is to look at my job role, my job specification and see, because it's a job for me, and those steps must not go 20 years backward. I have looked at the man's plan, the person of Godwin of Asaki, and then uh, and as I look at is the prospective candidates that are uh, that have the ticket currently under the PDP, I think that if I do it with them, I'm also going to accept politically, which will translate to uh it will give a, a political outlook. I'm concerned so much about Akoko Edo, but interestingly, God just gave me uh, a mandate to serve a those states. I've not talked about this, but I just termed it an act of God. Are you a member of the PDP now? Yes, I am. When did you join the PDP? Immediately, a few months after I, I finished from the tribunal, yeah. About five, six months ago. What, what led you to exiting the Labour Party? No, to be very frank with you, the Labour Party is not just a party, it's a movement I hold daily. Uh, if, if I have the opportunity over and over, I will continue to thank them. It was the Labour Party that gave me the platform. So, so like I told you, what informed it is Akoko Edo was my, play, or is still my major project, and we are predominantly APC PDP. So, I got that win from Peter Obi's uh, uh, margins as a candidate, and I was able to because we had several court cases at the time between Honorable Peter Akwatasi and the other man from APC, and the right Honorable Ajoto and the other man from the Legacy Group. So, so for eight, nine months, they were not campaigning, they were in court. So I had a free time and I moved around the entire local government. I had all the day, so they bought into my campaign. So my future project projection suggested that if I try that again now, it may not go well because Akoko Edo 
this serious intervention and I'm happy with this six months or what you call seven months. It's okay for me. And the governor has told me in clear terms and we discuss about some critical, because when I meet people, I don't tell them about what I want is what my people want. And uh, from the look of things, I gave him a need assessment of my people. And I am sure that we may not be able to do so much, but I will make an impact that Akoko Edo will remember me for and Edo North and Edo State in general. So, so in your own estimation, um, Aswe Godalo is better than Olumide Akpata. Is that what you said earlier? What you were inferring? Like I said, I don't like talking about people, you understand? I just told you that in my own personal opinion, I stand to be corrected, it's my own opinion. I just look at, when you look at, but he has his style that I, I think he campaigns like me. When you see us well in the street of Benin here, if you, if, there's, if you see five people eating somewhere or drinking, as well, we come down and start telling them why they must vote for him. He doesn't look at it that, oh, the population, he doesn't need to cover a wide area, a wide number of persons. Even if it's two persons, you will see us well there. And then it's, to my own opinion, I think he's very humble and humility is key. He has the kind of style of the way I play my politics. We were discussing uh, this morning, and I don't want to mention them, so somebody, an aggrieved person, they wanted to come close to the house. He, he forced himself in and went upstairs. He heard the, the old man, and before you knew it, the old man even took him and put him on his laps because he was able, to, and that is what politics is all about, how you are able to uh, uh, get results. It's not making efforts. It's, 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 you can see that he's trying to get results. And there, you, there lie a deputy governor candidate, the person as uh, Paris Council, Joe if you follow his political trajectory, he has the, 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 the 64 words in the do not in his palm, the, the over 200 or something words in those state, he can give you, he, his structures are everywhere, very present. And the way he plays his politics, there is no time he reaches out to both PDP, PC, and Labour. He has done that consistently. So there is no way especially uh, those hearts is not going to get very, very reasonable but both from my calculation. But beyond this, it's, it's an opportunity for me to actually serve. And I'm happy it's the best day of my life. Sir. Did you contact the governor that you wanted a job or it was the governor who got you or contacted you? Or how did you get a job in the first place? The party contacted me. But I, I have been following Aswe Godalu privately uh, there's hardly no day I don't listen to or watch his video, maybe 10, 20, 30 minutes. I fell in love with Aswe Godalu. Then, of course, as an engineer, we have been doing one or two. Uh, uh, in terms of consultants, I told you I am critical to the master plan. So I have been following of Nopaseki because for me, I have a knack for professionalism. It doesn't matter to me whether you are PDP or APC. Once there's development, if I see the outlook that there's an outlook that suggests that will get development in the affirmative, I came to it straight up. And then uh, something struck me. I went for a chamber meeting one day, and uh, what I saw was massive. There's this ego app that I created. You don't they, you don't find manual files in the do secretaries, no. Everything is fully automated. And at a glance, you can reply your memo, how it does it. It's an IT enthusiast. I think uh, it may not it may not have done so much according to other people, but for me, I think it's far above average, and I like his style of administration. So I have been, even though I'm in labor, I was in labor, I've been looking at maybe pitching tents with the party. So as soon as they came to me and uh, we looked at the figures together, because remember, the game is a game of figures, and we saw that a donut we may be a deciding factor, and we wear some relative popularity, popularity there. I was okay. Uh, Akoko Edo is even a critical case. Since 1963, when that local government was formed, we've never had it. The world, the best was the chief of staff, and it was still from Gordon Obaseki. Are you, with, are you there? I'm, I'm listening and, uh, to you. Yeah. 1991, when Edo State was formed, see, today, except for statutory positions like commissioners, and we come normally, or as of assembly, or as of rep, uh, they seem to, we seem to be marginalized. Whereas we have my federal constituency, when Isako was one constituency, Akoko Edo was a federal constituency. When they became Tiri, Akoko Edo is still one constituency. So the people of Akoko Edo are not interested. It's a victory for them. It's like uh, 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 Basiki has broken the lifetime gener generational cost. So they, they have a hid heart to them as we speak. It doesn't even matter to them if they feel any sense of development, physical infrastructure for the next six months. What they are interested in is they, they now have a fair share. 
even though not so much, but they are grateful. So it was because of Aswe Godalo that you got the job. Come again. I mean, you're, you're getting the job of the deputy governor was predominantly because of Aswe Godalo. The party came to me, yes. And the other parties also came to me. Uh, looking at what came out, because Akoko Edu turned out over 42,000 votes. Beavers votes, not all this number of total registered voters. No, Beavers voter. You know, so, 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 and they, I, I, I got a very good result. I even won that election, even though they said I didn't win. But of course, the, the, the feedback, you know, is input, is, is input that gives you output. So the feedback suggested that I won that election or I made a very good impact. And uh, both APC and PDP came to me. But of course, as a man, I must make a choice. And I looked at it vis-a-vis -vis what the outlook may look for. I'm looking at the future. You understand? You talked about six months or six. Seven. If this is only if this is the last I'm going to use, I'm going to get from my people. I have healed them mentally. That is enough for me. But I know that I spoke with the governor and he gave me his words that we'll be doing one or two interventions for my people. And then uh, I think I'm happy for it. What would you be bringing to the table? When you mean to the table for the remaining six months or what is that what you mean? Yes, for the six. I mean, you are go, you're going to be there the, only for the time that uh, the constitution permits. Yes, I said I have an engineering background and I'm a practicing engineer and I've been working with the state government consulting for them in the area of their master plan. So I'm already bringing something and it's critical. I have some critical areas I'm handling and I'm interested in a do not because we have, uh, you know, we have abundant natural resources and you have illegal miners everywhere trying to. This will cause uh, uh, head hazards and all of that. So, in particular, I'm, 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 I'm in that team that is trying to put few communities like Ikweshi, Okwela, where you have a, a large deposit of limestone, dolomite, and all of that that causes head hazards. And uh, we are trying to check the master plan in such a way that the people will be safe. So, for me, it is just uh, it's a plus for me. That is number one. But number two, uh, like I told you, it is politics more, more than 70%. And I, it suggests that the, for, from the look of things, it, it, it was a very good decision from the party. And you can find out, do your private investigation, the city of Benin today, and those states in general, is you can see the use everywhere. They are eating, drinking, and marrying, they are very happy. So to them, it's a win for democracy, yeah. And we hope to sustain that. So um, I'm asking, uh, well, if you're talking about uh, being a deputy governor, uh, and I'm assuming that you are already going to be apprised in the coming days, understand more what being a deputy governor is, that those who have described it as an extra tire, you can only do as much as your principal can permit you to do. You can only go as much as your principal allows you to go. Is more or less a legend, and you can only assist or act when, uh, well, the law even in fact states that you can only deputize when the governor is not around. There is a restriction in the role and the activities and the performance of a deputy governor as enshrined in our law. Are you aware of this kind of limitation? And is that okay with you? It's okay with me. Life is a process now. At 37 plus now, I'm already a deputy governor. It has improved my political outlook, number one. Uh, 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 and I am not in a rush to drag with my governor or to whatever he says I should do. He knows we have we have, I have been doing one or two for the, for the government, and he knows my strength. So I will only dwell on my strength when it comes to giving adding value. Then whatever I also have to add politically, I am learning on the job. So for me, it is a win-win for me. And to cap it up is my local government is very happy. We just, it's, it's, it's historic. What happened to this is historic. They are very proud. We had big weeks from the MPN days from 1793. They've not been able to get this. So I just see it as an act of God and an, an opportunity yeah. I shouldn't have. So I'm very excited about Mr. it. Mr. Deputy but Governor. Uh, we yeah, have the yeah. Form yeah. that suggests that we get. It's okay by us. Yeah. That is what I'm saying. Your, your brother, who is an SR command, uh, Philip Shaibu, who has been removed, you are an Akokwe Doma from the same senatorial district. And those who will say 
Would you be happy if what happened to Shaibu happens to you, even within these six months? That is politics for you. Your job, first of all, is to be loyal. You understand? Uh, uh, even though fashion last time, your loyalty not be tested. I do not know what may have, uh, 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 what, what have happened in the past. That is not my business. You understand? I'm just happy for this opportunity. And my local government is happy. The do state is happy. I think for that, I'm fine. All right. Let's anchor on this note. And I'll, I'll list a few names. There are, since your emergence and what, since you were inaugurated, there's a lot of people who are worried about what could be a near future for you in terms of your loyalty that you have just prayed in the uh, in the uh, in the voice of uh, 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 Governor Fashola, former Governor Fashola, who says, "May your loyalty not be tested." But if you remember the relationship of some of these persons, and as soon as you emerge, people started talking about this relationship and your principal, the governor. They talk about the relationship between himself and Adam Shomale, his relationship between himself and Dan Obi, his relationship with him himself and Yin Song Wike, his relationship with him uh, with himself and Philip Shawabu, his relationship with himself and Azeg Bami. These relationships have gone sour. Are you worried when you talk about loyalty? That you are perhaps dealing with a person that in your party and in your state, there are those who have criticized that. There is a problem. Are you worried about it? Uh, if I if I understand you clearly, uh, uh, I am only worried about myself. I, I do not want to talk about what happened between Obasaki and Wiki. I'm not interested. It's like you're not getting me. What I'm telling you is, for me, it's a total win for Akuku Edo. It's a total win. A region that has been marginalized, even if it's for 30 seconds, they are so grateful. It's a, it's a plus, number one. And number two, I am of the belief, having worked with him before, because the social tool you judge a man by his past, what that person has done in the past with you, what that person is doing currently with you, those are the things you put together and see if you can entrust your future to such a person. I feel strongly that getting this ticket, uh, getting this job for deputy governor has prepared me, right. that's, uh, yes, that's catalyzed my chances and with the PDP, I will go higher. And all, right. all of that towards helping my local government and my state. If I have an, a national opportunity tomorrow, I will also grab it. So I, my, my intention, I'm happy. I just want you to celebrate with me. If you say I am the youngest, just celebrate with me. I'm not interested in <laughs> <All right. laughs> It's a win for Kukwe It's a win for Edo State. And it's a win for the youth. It's a win for democracy. Mr. Omobayo Marvelous Godwins, the brand new Deputy Governor of Edo State. May your loyalty not be tested, and I wish you the very best. You will need a lot Amen. of it. Thank you so much Amen, indeed. Sir. Thank you very much.